Hey YouTube, this is Practice Prepper. Uh, uh, today I wanted to talk about something that I think uh, is a problem that a lot of people that are in the Prepper community get uh, caught up in, and that is uh, sort of perfection to some degree. Um, and what I mean by that is, let's take the example of like, uh, uh, you know, people's bug out bag and their gear and everything. Uh, there's so many reviews about what's the perfect X to use for Y. Yeah, you know, what's the perfect water filter? What's the perfect this? What's the perfect that? And I, I think, um, in life in general, and specifically um, for, uh, you know, disaster preparedness, SHDF, still hate that acronym. Uh, the whole idea of perfection is is more of an impediment than anything. I mean, the, the idea is that um, we should be ready to deal with situations that are not ideal and to turn them into something that is positive and useful and, and sustaining to, to life. Um, and I, I think that getting too much into the mindset that you need to find the perfect backpack or the perfect this or the perfect that uh, is the antithesis of what all of this really is supposed to be about, which is supposed to be resourcefulness and taking what you've got, uh, whether that be you know, materials or a situation in general, and then turning that into something uh, that you, you know, can be happy with. And, uh, and and feel comfortable with and can sustain you and uh, you know your family and the people you care about. Um, to that end, uh, today I have a. Uh, it's not today. Actually, it was a couple of days ago. This is a, uh, a bookend to a uh, little video clip I shot a couple of days ago. So, full disclosure there. You'll notice I'm wearing a different shirt. I'm sure. I think I might have done it after I cut my before I cut my hair. It's shorter now. In any event, as you're watching it, th keep in mind the idea that what we should be doing is taking what we have access to and turning that into something. There's no such thing as ideal anyway, in my opinion. Sarah's doing all right now. Greening up. Enjoy the video. This morning I'm working on uh, my bug out bag, which is another term I really don't like at all. It just suggests that you're mentally losing it. It's like, oh, he's bugging out. I'm not very fond of it. But that's what they call them. So uh, that's what I'm calling it. Um, the way I do my bug out bags is, uh, and you can tell that I pluralized it, is that I don't just have one. I've kind of compartmentalized them. Uh, I have like kind of a core EDC, and then around that I wrap things. I'll do a video on that later. But what I'm doing today is uh, repairing a, a hole uh, this is a uh, piece of luggage that I got from Salvation Army, which is my favorite store. Yeah, it's my favorite store, other than Amazon. Um, uh, and it, it, it was it was free. They were just giving it away because it's got this hole in the bottom of it here. And um, uh, this is going to be my uh, my shelter bag. Uh, and the, like I said, I, I I I break things up. And in this bag, I have a tent, and there's some tarps and some extra cooking things and stuff like that. Um, so a lot of my big stuff goes in this bag. This is not a really easy bag to kind of carry around. Um, it's more something you throw in the car. Um, and uh, you know, if you had to, you could kind of lash it to another pack or something like that. But this is for big stuff. And um, I want to repair this hole so that if I put any little stuff in, it's not going to be falling out. And uh, the way I'm going to be doing that is I've got some old sort of nylon fabric. This was a container for some kind of a lame-ass chair, that, uh, like a fold-out chair, uh, which broke pretty quickly, but it's got really tough fabric. So I'm going to take that, and I made a little patch, and I'm using this amazing goop, which is really toxic and not the kind of thing you want to breathe in a lot, but it works really well to, to glue patches onto things. So I made this patch here, and I got a little fold going in it, trying to get it to develop a natural curve in itself. I'm going to take that and I'm going to glue that down over this section, use, use some clamps to hold that down while it, while it uh, all dries. And then after this thing dries down, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a larger patch and the larger patch will go over the whole area. And I think I might do that on the other side to reinforce this, sort of uh, preemptively understand that if this side had an issue, this side might too. So as you can see, it worked out pretty well. Uh, I got a free bag uh, uh, that was just an open resource that I was able to scavenge, and I turned it into something useful. Uh, now, does that mean that you should focus on, I'm going to do a bug out bag, and I'm going to find a free bag somewhere? 
Not necessarily, because that is putting your end before you figure out what you've got. Uh, I think a better way of looking at it is look at what assets you have available to you and then find uses for them. Um, that could also lead to hoarding, and I wouldn't advocate that. Although prepping is to some degree hoarding, I guess, but it's um, hoarding with a purpose, I guess. <laughs> But the idea is, is uh, look at what you have available to you, and then and then use that, uh, and and find some way of making that work for you. I hope you find that idea helpful. I hope the whole idea of not focusing so much on the ideal and the perfect and and all that is, is something that might free you to uh, unlock a lot of doors that you have cracked for you, and they're waiting for you to walk through them. Um, once you, I'm being very preachy here, but once we all get to a point where we realize that there is no perfect and you do the best you can with what you've got and that is the core idea of disaster preparedness and shit hits the fan and everything is that we are going to have non-ideal situations and we need to get good at living comfortably within the non-ideal so hope you find this idea helpful uh, I hope you find lots of free stuff thank you for watching